A warning now for those involved in accidents and need a tow. You may become a victim of more than just a crash. An Inglewood woman paid a high price when she was in a collision recently. Yeah, a tow truck driver showed up and hauled her vehicle away. She showed KCAL 9 consumer investigator Christine Lazar how the charges started mm -hmm. racking up. The hit and run was caught on camera, causing a chain reaction collision. Both Michelle Davis and her daughter's cars were rear-ended in late January outside her Inglewood home. We heard a big crash and like squealing tires. Davis immediately called police and within minutes, she says a tow truck showed up. I'm thinking he was with the police. I've had an accident. The car goes to the police in town yard. That's what I thought. But the tow truck wasn't with police. Instead, it brought Davis's daughter's Honda here to airport collision and repair. Davis followed behind in her Range Rover. She says the auto body shop told her it wasn't safe to drive. My muffler was against the gas tank. I was going to blow up. From that day on, both cars started racking up all types of fees. 110 for a COVID cleaning fee, 140 for a hazmat fee, 275 for a forklift fee, $200 for photos, and $225 a day for storage. In California, there is no cap on what private businesses can charge for storage fees. And when it comes to suspected predatory towing, experts tell me consumers have very little protection very little protections except what they do for themselves to, to check first. Before that car is put on the hook or put on the flatbed, check all these things. Such as the truck's DOT number and reviews online. After weeks of back and forth with the body shop, Davis's insurance cut her a check to repair each car. But by that point, it was barely enough to cover the storage fees alone. How am I going to have $10,000 to get my car back? And still, how am I going to fix it? We went down to airport collision with Davis. They have a BBB placard proudly displayed in their lobby, despite having an F rating. According to the Bureau of Automotive Repair, airport collision is on a two-year probation for various charges, including fraud. On Yelp, they have two stars and a slew of negative reviews from people who say the tow truck that brought them to the body shop just showed up without being called. A lot of the tow trucks will monitor the police bands. And they'll hear a call about there being an accident on, on Fig Row or Washington or whatever. And when they do that, they'll get out there as quick as they can. The owner of Airport Collision told us his shop did nothing wrong and that Davis signed every invoice she was given. They've offered to waive nearly half of the storage fees. In Inglewood, Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.